hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this training video how to identify high probability reversal trades I'm going to be covering a lot of information uh, in this recording so I'd recommend if it's you uh, make sure you've got a pen and uh, your trading journal handy so you can take notes and please remember that the strategies and ideas work on all time frames and all markets so if you're a forex trader or a stock trader it really doesn't matter or a futures trader which market you trade uh, a patterns a pattern now there's a great book by a trader called trader Vic methods of a Wall Street master and what he says in the book is where fortunes are made identifying a change of trend and of course you would have heard if you're a member of the day traders fast track program you'll hear me state time and time again please do not counter trend trade or look for uh, trading change of trend until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader and you'll see why very soon however there are fortunes made and if you're good at it and you get to master the patterns you can do very very well out of them now very quickly yeah uh, we will be going to some charts uh, very soon so I'd recommend you go to full screen bottom right hand corner you can click on that and you'll be able to go to full screen as always I do need to put the disclaimer up there is a risk in trading if you haven't read the disclaimer if you're uh, new to my videos uh, please pause the video and make sure that you do read the disclaimer uh, if you're a current member of the day traders fast track program you see this on every one of my videos also a uh, very very quick advertisement I promise traders I'll be very quick uh, you can request my ebook for truth about day trading by going to the download link below or also requesting my free training manual uh, let's see here uh, and of course if you're a member or if you join the day traders fast track program many of the ideas and strategies that uh, I'm about to cover with you I have very very comprehensive uh, cheat sheets downloadable PowerPoints and there's actually over 300 training videos now in my entire program but specifically the t3 which is our price extreme strategy uh, which works absolutely fantastically it's a mean reversion strategy uh, your t7s which is your double tops double bottoms I've got specific training videos and cheat sheets and PowerPoints on those your t19 which is your standard divergence and your dds and the two d's a double divergence which is uh, an absolute killer uh, if you're a counter trend trader and last of all before we get into uh, content if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and just remember for 197 dollars you obtain my entire program including indicators visit my website for more information there's nothing else else like this uh, in the market for 197 there is no upsell there's no coaching programs everything is included including full email support okay that's the end of the promotion let's get into it let me talk about the negatives first of all you've probably heard the saying the person who catches two rabbits catches none and when we go to the charts in a moment uh, we will see this one of the challenges is that when you're trading counter trend or, or attempting to take counter trend trades uh, if it fails quite often you'll miss out on a really good trend trade and this is where you need to be either very quick uh, um, or to really make up your mind which type of trade are you after uh, even better still if you go for the best of the best and that's really what this video is about is showing you what are the best of the best but the warning I wanted to give here really is just be very very cautious and I tend to find that when you're looking for counter trend trades or a change in market direction we tend to lose sight and to um, lose focus on looking for the trend trades and I still say to this day the trend trades are the safest trades you can possibly take but there are some great counter trend trades and I'm sorry if I'm confusing you here with these statements but it's very very true and any experienced traders know what I'm talking about here and my last statement here is tops and bottoms are so attractive because they look good in hindsight it's very easy to go back over a chart and say all right I would have got in here would have got in here but when you're on the far right hand side of the screen of your chart things look very very differently 
now Jesse Livermore um, quoted this and I love this statement after spending many years in Wall Street and after making millions and losing millions of dollars I want to tell you this it was never my thinking that made the big money for me it was always my sitting and that is where it's just so important traders that if you're going to take Canatron trades that you wait for the best of the best I'm going to be giving you some invaluable tips and this is where I might even pay you to pause the video members of course you can go into the members area and you can download the, the cheat sheets and the powerpoints um, uh, which will give you all of this information but for the general public watching this if you're not a member I want you to really um, take note of what I say and, and, and jot it down it's very very important now in the end our business is about pattern recognition and epic traders are great at pattern recognition and that's in a way a great thing about trading is that learning patterns if they're not difficult but that is what it's really counter trend trading is about is looking for the patterns that set up now in mastering the trades that I'm going to be showing you today I want you to remember what I call the rule of 100 test your idea or test the pattern over a minimum of 100 trades uh, going back over the charts uh, then in sim then before you go live very very important and that's I suppose one of the greatest challenges that I have with traders today is I now have uh, uh, thousands of traders around the world that are members is lack of patience and you know as Mark Douglas talks in his excellent book he talks about really being patient and that is in the end by the way it's in the book for discipline trader he talks about this is having the patience and as he said what's the rush the market's going to be here next week next month next next year and also when you are patient and when you follow the discipline rules of say back testing over a minimum of 100 trades before you go to sim then maybe 100 in sim before you go live it's also teaching you discipline which is perhaps one of the key cornerstones of becoming an epic trader so the setups that I teach you go back over 100 are very very important now first of all one of the most important rules of staying out of a potential divergence trade is this do I have a strong trending market this is where it's easy to get absolutely hammered if you're a counter trend trader or trying to pick a top or a bottom and I want you to think of flashing red lights when considering a divergence trade in a strong trending market and I'm going to give you um, uh, when we look at the charts a couple of heads up and things to be watching for and a couple of really important tips that will really filter out the bad trades but uh, just really watch that so I want you to jot that down if you're in a strong trending market you know once again just be very very aware it's really easy to be chopped up in those circumstances so let's now go through some key considerations of trading divergence do I have angulation so we're going to look at this and I've marked up some charts for you very very important and one of the key ingredients or the key rules for a successful counter trend trade is when you've got great angulation the greater the angulation the better the trade do I have three mountains now what I mean by that and we'll see this on a chart where I go one in a trend two and three that is the more waves you've had in a trend the more likely you are to have a correction or a change in trend so if you've got three hills or three mountains or three great waves uh, you are more likely to be heading towards a successful counter trend trade or a change in trend so remember when we're trading the trend the best metaphor I give or analogy I say to traders we're like great surface we're looking for those waves so after you've had three waves you're more likely to be heading towards a correction now likewise do you have a double top or a double bottom the market loves to test things twice and quite often a good double top or a good double bottom is a good indication of a change in trend so I want you to be very aware of those particularly when you formed a new high or new lows and you form so you've got a new low and you form a double bottom or a new high and you form a double top 
and combine that then with a key indicator such as an oscillator well it's just fake once again a great combination we'll look at that in a moment do I have a pivot bounce specifically I really like floor pivots and I'm going to be showing you an example with that so when you have pivot bounces and divergence and you've made either a double top or a double bottom uh, or I've got divergence on price fantastic okay that's a great combo do I have a fanning of the EMAs most of you are aware and of course if you remember you're very aware that I love to use a combination of three to four EMAs when they are fanning apart and I'm getting angulation that's also a great indication of a great potential divergence trade am I at a major support resistance area and I get divergence fantastic do I have a trend line break so I've had a great run I've had a trend line break and I love to use fractals and those of you that haven't seen my videos on fractal breaks and I talk a lot about those it just makes confirming a trend line uh, very mechanical recently I've started using just as a visual tool an ATR stop and flip and uh, unfortunately I only have it for trade station so I'm using a very tight ATR stop and flip now it is something else on the screen but it just it's just a nice if you're busy if you've um, are looking at a lot of screens it's just another visual tool and uh, so, so for trade station users of course I provide that for those that uh, don't um, uh, use trade station just use the trigger line and we'll look at that as well do I have a rising or falling wedge pattern we'll look at that when I show you a chart and what is the anchor chart telling me if I've got uh, divergence on my entry chart what we call my EC and I have divergence on the AC the anchor chart start rubbing your hands together it's what I call a 2d when I have a double divergence fantastic okay it dramatically improves the chances of my trade being successful so we can see here that this is uh, just from an old PowerPoint from years ago but we can see we've got a nice double bottom here now if that was at support such as a floor pivot uh, fantastic now of course a double bottom or a double top can form its own area of resistance or support but at times you'll get a double top or a double bottom uh, at a floor pivot if you have it at a floor pivot right it probably adds an extra 10 to 20 percent towards a probability of that trade coming off so you may have standard divergence on an indicator so you have a high high in price you then have divergence on your indicator fantastic but when you've got great divergence and it's tried twice okay it's even better so you really want to understand the principles behind double tops and double bottoms now then we have our triangles and wedges now when we then get a wedge and prices what I call coiling okay so usually when we have a rising wedge price action will usually collapse price action will usually run to the long side so this is where drawing your trend lines is and just really developing the habit of drawing in trend lines it just makes um, spotting a great divergence trade a lot easier now for those members that are familiar with fractals usually at these points here 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 and here um, likewise um, here here and here we would have a fractal point plot and those are the points that I draw my trend line on it's an indication and of course quite often we'll see a lot of false breakouts but when you've got some additional tools and some other things that we'll look at it just makes it easier for confirming a, uh, a divergence trade now here we've got a fall sorry a falling a rising wedge here now in this particular case we haven't formed a new higher high or a low but you'll still see a lot of these wedges still work out so you've got prices is starting to coil it's um, you you basically a wedge is a trading range so you can see here we're getting it tighter and tighter in our range and finally uh, pressure builds and we break to the short side so just get used to looking for these patterns now 
uh, Vic in his book uh, methods of Wall Street master uh, the new market wizards he's been written about in the new market wizards and super traders and uh, I mentioned his book the methods of Wall Street master trader he shows two patterns which is your classic pattern but in this particular case he's not showing the use of an oscillator so if you look at this so to buy long we're simply looking for these are what I call two hills and you'll quite often hear me talk about two hills here's your first till it comes down rises all right market fails again here's your second hill then you get a break here and away we go now this we know of course is fairly classic we will then have an oscillator will have divergence as well so you've got two confirming and we'll look at a, a pattern in a moment you'll see this here so this is directly out of his book where you'll see this pattern and so you've got some decent retracement close above a new high no follow-through close below the breakout low short below the low target the major swing low so you might have had a swing low way down here stop above the breakout high which is just here fairly classic patterns but you know what it works however what is very very important traders is that you make sure that either you've got great angulation or and that you're not in a strong trending market because you'll see these regularly in really strong trending markets here that have alongside of a short side uh, where you get this great setup but you can still be hammered smashed by them so you want to be very cautious now this is typical on this these this is the same pattern we were just looking at except using an oscillator so we've got a lower low on price with a higher low on our oscillator likewise here we've got a higher high on price so this is our classic t19 setup so we've got a lower high now you can still take them by the way if you've got a double top on your oscillator and a double top on price action but better probability and by the way if I had a double top on price and I've got my divergence that's still fantastic I love my double tops and my love and my double bottoms but I really want to see divergence on the oscillator to me that is very very important so let's go and have a look at the chart so we'll start off with um, uh, just to set up so I'm actually um, uh, set up that I saw as I was preparing for this video today so what we're looking at here is the Australian dollar 55 tick chart so this is during the Globex session all right so I'm recording this at uh, 2 53 p.m. in the afternoon and we can see here that uh, uh, so this is during the globex session what we call the Asian session uh, we can see here that we've formed a new higher high so here's one hill comes down we then get a bounce two hills so I've got a high high on price and I've got a lower high on my MACD now the MACD I use is a zero lag and so a zero lag and it's got a very sensitive setting so I love zero lag MACDs but what makes this good and by, and by the way when you're trading the Aussie dollar uh, the CME futures us currency contract it's ten dollars per tick where if you're trading say the euro or the yen or the pound uh, it's 625 a tick USD so the Aussie dollar is ten dollars a tick now when we take these divergence trades always be prepared for a bounce off the major EMAs right now here we've broken through so this is good okay we've got a good move now here we've got divergence but my on my anchor chart I've also got a divergence and that's what I call a 2d I love it when I've got a 2d it dramatically improves the probability of the trade coming off now let me just uh, go here and to the other charts I wanted to show you so what we're now looking at is gold now remember it doesn't matter what market you're trading whether you're trading the Forex markets um, futures stocks it really doesn't matter the same patterns will set up so I'll just run through some of these so we can see here that we have a saying in our business follow the gold so we can see my gold EMA so if we're under the gold we want to be looking for shorts if we're above the gold we're looking generally for longs now trading is not it's really there's lots of gray areas in trading and you'll hear me say close enough is good enough and uh, it truly is for an example 
if I'm looking at a double bottom or a double top on a day trading chart so this is a 144 tick chart if I'm within two ticks for me that still qualifies as a double bottom or a double top and in this case we are within two ticks so here I've got a nice I've got divergence so I actually had an entry point here I've got a low a new lower low and here I had an entry here we can see we then got a bounce off the EMA we come back down it could have formed a well for me it is a double bottom I call it a double bottom and we can then see traders that it then bounced I, for me I call that a double bottom and up it went again and just be aware of the bounces off your major EMAs so we travel along here and in the direction of my trend of the overall trend I now have a new high high with a lower high on my MACD so I have an entry this actually comes down and it forms a great double top and I have divergence thank you very much now of course gold is ten dollars a tick now I'm a scalper so I'm quite happy to pick up five ticks okay that's what scalpers do we then have what I call a snapback which is a mean reversion trade we can see here that price is gapped right away from my trigger line and and these by the way on gold I love snapbacks we call them t3s on gold on CL you can get they're not quite as good you'll get some good ones on NQ but sometimes you need to wait for your second entry so you want to go have a high one high two or a low one high low two strategy but snapbacks can be great but it's still a counter trend trade and there we had a really great snapback here we had another great snapback these are all change in trend strategies here we've got a new high high on price I have divergence in here by the way I've got slight divergence you can see it there as well thank you very much I then have set up a, another snapback okay you can see clear separation of price from my trigger line we come down we then get a bounce we then form a this is what I call a big picture double top I have divergence I've then got a big picture double top and the market falls okay falls away very very nicely now here this is where it's very very easy to be hammered taking counter trend trades and you can see here I've got here the comment very untidy notice here we do have divergence but just be aware that when you're um, in these channels this is almost a tight channel and your entry is very close to your major EMAs time and time again you'll bounce off them and your divergence trade will fail so just be very very cautious there when you've got a channel and price action is very very close to your EMAs uh, coming along here okay um, and you can see how mechanical it can be I've got um, a high high on price lower high on my MACD great and we get a bounce once again you only would have picked up five ticks but that's mighty fine it's a very rule space mechanical trade up here I then get a double top forms it's not perfect it's and if you um, set this one out I could understand so uh, that is one however it's still a double top uh, time wise the afternoons nearly over and that's when we uh, then yeah that's right so it's the end of the, the session let's go and have a look at the what other market was I the NQ that's right I was going to show you the NQ so let's have a look at the NQ and this is uh, where we look at angulation now let me scroll back a little okay so we'll look at the NQ 144 tick so this is actually uh, 904 so the market doesn't open till uh, 930 so price action is a little slower now here this is what I'd call I would call this a double top triple top whatever you want to call it so see price action has come up we've tested this high a number of times there notice how my MACD has fallen okay here is my entry just here thank you very much I then have a double bottom formation form here notice how my MACD is rising now on a standard MACD of course this is you wouldn't be getting these sensitive uh, entries but I do love my tight entries here so we've got a double bottom now this is where you've got to be cautious if we look at this one here 
we then get to uh, 918 you've got a high high on price you've actually got a lower high but then you bounce straight away and then come up you may have chosen to take this we then formed a double top and these are some of the areas where you can be chopped up badly and I'm going to be showing you a bit of a solution here one of the things you can be doing or looking for to minimize these false entries so this is the first rule we want to be looking at is what we call good angulation so let me explain this here so what exactly is angulation angulation is where you see price action moving away at a great angle away from your major EMAs that is what we call angulation so effectively we've got a wedge formation so you've basically driven a wedge price action is risen okay so here we've also got this is the first wave out of three so you've got great angulation so you could take that as a short now remembering always whenever you take a counter trend trade or a divergence trade be prepared for a bounce off the EMAs and which is exactly what happened so this is a great scalping opportunity what you've also got to be aware of and you may remember I mentioned earlier that he chases two rabbits catches none and this is one of the points I wanted to bring out it's it's right here you had a little time but where do you actually get out so if you had have taken this as a short you could have easily scalped your seven eight ticks maybe ten I haven't measured that uh, here but then you had a great a great trend trade setup now quite often though you'll have these by the time and you actually had one here you had divergence you had another potential entry now here the ATR kept me out of it so that's another story for another time well actually I may as well uh, sorry I should mention that the ATR remained blue so here it told me that the average range was to stay long so it would have kept me out of that one but I still may have got in here but what I've got here is is um, I've got no angulation notice how price sections moved away nicely here so you would have been stopped on this trade now here this is where we're starting to get interested uh, particularly if I don't have great angulation because I've had one wave one wave two wave and now a third wave so the probabilities increase for a successful counter trend trade after I've had three waves which is exactly what I had here so one two three wait for uh, three waves or wait for great angulation now another great setup that you'll have see regularly is when you get a double bottom or a double top with the trend so I had divergence double bottom uh, with the trend now it didn't go too far and and by the way I mentioned uh, the NQ here different markets have different personalities and so get to know the personality of the market because you'll quite often find it's very very different so here you've got a double bottom here uh, in the direction of the trend but you'll see this fail quite often anyway you with NQ you just got to watch the NQ it has um, it's different to say gold CL etc once again as I say continually get to know the personality of the market here we've got another great setup we've got here you've got angulation so prices come down this is actually a t3 it actually failed then you got um, you had no divergence here we've got divergence and notice angulation once again angulation is where price is angling away from my major EMAs so that set up set this up very very nicely we come up here I've got now I've got great divergence a lower high higher high on my price thank you very much we'll move along we've now end up forming a big picture double top now big picture double top is when I go over an extended area uh, I call it a big picture so I love as many of my uh, traders know I love double tops and double bottoms so here we've got a big picture double top uh, so this is over a much larger area okay and that worked out very very nice moving along here what other ones have I got here now this is uh, what I wanted to point out 
here's another case where we had a divergence and it failed very very quickly and you actually had a couple of waves here so you could have said one two then finally you've got your third wave and it it worked out mighty fine so let me just show you something here so as soon as I get two points and see my black dots these are fractal points here's what I do so let me just show you this this is uh, very very important that I'll do this so here we've got I formed two points I then want to form a new parallel line which I'll bring up here so at this case at this stage I've just got two points here and we can just want to watch channels and if I extend this so at this stage here I would only had these two points I'd then extend to the right and we can see what happens here and so price section come up we bounced again we rose so once this has happened I then and I formed this I then form this as I'd extend this parallel to the right price section comes up and test the upper channel and finally it fails but the point I wanted to bring up here is this when we form a channel in a tight trend like this where we bounce off the high so you sell the highs you buy the lows sell the highs buy the lows but once you've had at least two to three waves get ready for you will probably heading towards a breakdown at last which is what happened so be very very cautious uh, with divergence trades when you've got these channel formations hopefully this makes sense and of course we cover this in the day traders fast track program uh, a great deal but um, uh, draw your channels in it's just a good indication of what may happen now also back on of these as I think I mentioned this is where you take these and you quite often then miss the trend trade because by the time you get stopped so if you take this short and I should mention this and I apologize I've mentioned it, where would my stop go two ticks one to two ticks above this swing high one to two ticks above this swing high so by the time you uh, if you you got out of this uh, counter trend trade and jumped on the trend trade the moves already well and truly underway so this is one of the challenges in focusing on tr taking counter trends you miss out on a lot of really good trend trades so you've got to be quick and able to recognize these here moving along here we then had a uh, price action this is actually a t3 you actually f ended up forming support or a I'll call this a double bottom yes one could call it a triple bottom whatever you want to call it but we ended up with some nice divergence over here we end up with a nice uh, double bottom again now notice here my indicator is basically giving me the entry signal now of course some traders just don't like using uh, indicators well here they're a great tool to use so what I've done traders is very quickly over the last 33 minutes run through some of the trading rules now you can do very very well in trading divergence the secret there is is to really understand and learn the pattern very very important traders you take the time is that when you get a great t3 or a double bottom or a double top or a great we call them t19s a true divergence trade you can do very very well out of them but I recommend the traders stay away from counter trend trading until you're consistently profitable as a trend trade it is easier to make money trading with the trend but you can make a fortune counter trend trading as well if you understand and master the patterns so once again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do please visit my website become a member uh, and I look forward to seeing you or I hopefully you look forward to hearing me on the next video thank you traders